Pakistan in the dock once again, an undeniable proof as NIA files its draft sheet in the Pathan court terror attack case today. Getting you the exclusive details of uh, this draft sheet, we are given to understand that Jesh Chief Masood Azhar would be named in this draft sheet along with his uh, brother Rauf Azgar. Also, Kashif Jan and Shahid Latif of uh, Jesh to be named in NIA charge sheet. Going across right uh, to my colleague Kamaljeet, who's getting us this exclusive information. Kamaljeet, uh, give us more details of what you've been able to access uh, about the NIA charge sheet on Pathan Court terror attack. Uh, well, uh, Devina, since the four attackers are dead, uh, the charge sheet is against Maulana Masood Azgar, who's been named as as uh, uh, the main mastermind, his brother Rauf Azgar, as well as two others, Kashif Jan and Shahid Latif. Uh, basically, the Chachi says uh, this entire conspiracy was hashed in Pakistan. And remember, there have been various sections which have been implied, which is also including the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act, which is known as the UAPA. So clearly, they're saying that the training camps in Pakistan and POK, this is where uh, the training of the terrorists were done. This entire conspiracy was hashed in Pakistan. Uh, the fact remains uh, that this our conspiracy has now been unearthed. And remember, uh, NI is going to be filing this charge sheet, but it does serve a dual purpose. One, it brings all these conspirators under the ambit of Indian law. The other is that they plan to take this entire charge sheet and will be placing it in the UN Sanction Committee, uh, which, is, which is also an Al-Qaeda committee, uh, which proves uh, that perhaps Mulana Mazood Azhar is a global terrorist, uh, something that India wants him as prescribed as. And remember, China has vetoed again. So all these will be put to light. But the fact remains, today is an important day because the first attack, one month shy of the anniversary of uh, of uh, uh, Pathan Ko terror attack, uh, this charge sheet is being filed. This is obviously a shot in the arm for the NI investigators as they have disclosed and found out uh, the evidence linking it uh, with Pakistan. Remember, there has been another theory about how the Pakistan GIT came uh, but never reverted back as far as India is concerned. Uh, that is also something that perhaps the NI would want to mention, uh, something which has been known internationally as well. So yes, uh, this is an important day as far as NI is concerned. Absolutely, and also it, it uh, nails down the lie that Pakistan has been floating because Pathan Ko terror attack, these Jesh terrorists were in constant touch with their park handlers at what this charge sheet will be detailing. But other aspect of this charge sheet is uh, the former Gurdaspur SP uh, uh, Kamaljeet. Do we see that uh, there will, he would be booked or will he be given a clean chip? Oh, well, what we know from our sources is very clear uh, that uh, Salvinder Singh is being used uh, as a witness and not as somebody who is a suspect. Uh, though India today was able to manage to get uh, the Standing Committee's report, which did put a question mark on Salvinder Singh and saying, why did uh, Punjab police not really trust their own SP? Uh, that puts an uh, entire question mark. Uh, but yes, uh, it does mention how he was hijacked in that Mahindra XUV vehicle, uh, how he was actually uh, brought in along with two others. I remember it was also Rajesh and uh, his cook uh, who were also part, in the, uh, part of the vehicle. So very clearly, all this is mentioned in the charge sheet, but he is not named as a suspect. In fact, NI has given clean chit to him.